good morning guys welcome back to the channel oh focus focus it is 5 a.m and uh feels like old times we are headed to dallas to uh, test the truck so actually the plan was to test barry's car but we need a few more parts for his but it is running you guys will probably see the video like right before this one actually but his car is running um, but we got to change a few things before it's actually where we want it to be so just some learning things learning curves of the new build setup but that's okay we got those parts getting overnighted not from japan from america and they'll be here probably tuesday or wednesday so we probably won't have time to test his before 2k which really sucks but that's just part of it so um we got the truck loaded last night we got another open trailer for the truck to fit on and yeah we we're headed to dallas today so uh the biggest thing is that we got to figure out this leaf spring suspension so we're still stock engine completely stock engine so we're only you know we're limited on power but we're gonna try and figure out this 60 foot short track see if we can get this thing going pretty quick out of there and then uh, eventually we'll put a built motor in it so pretty excited though to go test it we function tested everything so far we've driven the truck around it's been under boost everything so far looks good so now it's time to start figuring out the suspension the boost ramps and stuff and what better place to do that than XRP in Dallas. So uh, this is literally the weekend before the weekend before that we would leave for TX2K. So perfect time. We'll see you guys in Dallas. All right, it is uh, super, super windy, of course. I thought we were in Amarillo for a second. So right now we're adjusting the suspension. I have hired some secret help for the weekend to uh, help us with this leaf spring because we don't know shit about leaf spring. So um, this is the first time down the track with the truck, so we're not going to go crazy. We're going to leave pretty soft on some low boost. It is still stock engine, um, but our uh, sh leaf spring expert is having us adjust the cow tracks and the shocks right now. So we're adjusting those. We already set the tire pressure, already loaded a small tune-up. Like I said, it's going to be super soft, like really soft, because we just have no clue what this thing is going to do. So pray for us. <laughs> So it worked. It, it burned out, got on the trans brake, bumped, aggressive bump, and uh, went down the track. It only went a 149, 60 foot, 619 at 140 mile an hour. I mean, it's not bad for, I mean, we literally have like not very much boost in it. So we just want to make sure everything works. And I guess now we'll try, we'll try some stuff. So I only left on like 3,500 RPM, I think four or five pounds of boost, which is nothing. So. We're about to pull the data log from the AMS and kind of see where that puts us at and then see if our uh, leaf spring expert wants to make some changes. That was pretty cool. Uh, I, it was slow, but it was awesome. It was a good feeling. I don't know, uh, pretty much called today uh, Complete failure or like a 95% failure? <laughs> so, I went to, uh, we noticed that the bump stops, oh, focus, focus. We noticed that the bump stops were uh, getting in the way of the shocks making movement. And that's kind of what actually, that entire pressure made us spin that second pass. So, I, Anthony and I had already talked about cutting them. So I was like, oh, I got a knife, I'll just cut them. So I went to cut the bump stop and slipped. And cut a five centimeter by two centimeter. Nice pass. Uh, five centimeter by like two centimeter laceration in my arm. I'll put pictures up. So we had to rush to the ER to get stitches and that took four hours. So uh, here we are four hours later. 
I tried to make a pass, Anthony wouldn't let me. Oh, Kennedy really said no. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, the truck did do burnouts. They made it down the track. It went 6-1 at 114. I think that's pretty good. That's good signs. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to try and get another rental before TX2K because we have this week and then the following week is TX2K. So I got to get these stitches out in the next 7 to 14 or 7 to 10 days. And, uh, yeah, unsuccessful but successful. <laughs> this trip is going to end up being a lot more <laughs> than we anticipated. We thought we were just going to put fuel in it and drive down, turn around, and go home. But now we got an ER visit. So, yeah. Interesting. Be careful when you're cutting things, my friends. So, we're going to head back to Amarillo now <laughs> with our <laughs> with one arm. It's terrible. I really wanted to make another pass, but thank you guys for uh, following along. Really wanted to make some good passes for you guys and kind of figure out the truck. And I think we we're about to get a handle on the suspension and what the truck liked, but we needed like literally two or three more passes to figure that out and then we could have started leaning on it. But that's part of racing and part of being an idiot when you cut yourself, not on purpose. See you guys on the next one, CoyoteDirect.com. About to pay some expensive bills. <laughs> <laughs>